The Central Election Commission made a decision to combine the presidential and legislative election in 2012. Unfortunately, the decision has led to four months of political limbo for an executive transfer of power to take place. And to avoid this problem in the future, DPP lawmaker Zhang Honglu proposed an amendment to separate the two elections, but his plan is opposed by a fellow legislator. Combining the presidential and the legislative elections may have saved the Central Election Commission 500 million NT dollars. But one negative consequence is a four month window before the new president is sworn in. The country wastes more national resources as it sits idle during this period. I think we saved merely a few hundred millions at the expense of greater losses. Zhang Honglu proposed an amendment setting a presidential vote on March three months after the legislative elections in December. But a colleague from his party disagrees with his plan. Frequent state-level elections may result in repeated large-scale political mobilizations and exhaust social resources. Back in 2012, the Central Election Commission decided to combine the presidential and legislative elections to save money and increase voter turnout. The first political transfer after the combined elections has shed light on potential problems such as the long period of time between the presidential election and the inauguration.